Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the next part of UiPath queue that is divide the transactions item with multiple robots in UiPath queue. So as of now, you learned how to execute the process with one robot. But now we are going to learn how to divide the, the transaction item, how to split the task between multiple robots and execute your items, execute your process. We will learn how to divide the queue work items with multiple robots, automate RPA automation challenge with queue and, and in between this we will learn how to create a queue, how to add items to queue, get items from queue, enter the items in, in automation challenge, divide the queue work items with multiple robots. In the previous video, I have already told you about the how to create a queue, how to add items to queue, how to get items from the queue and how to execute the process with the help of one robot. But today we are going to learn something different that's very important if you have the thousands of records. I'm going to first open the UiPath Orchestrator and UiPath Studio. So here, uh, this is the automation challenge. I'm going to automate this one and I have 10 records so I will be using this excel file I will upload this to queue and then we will use the two robots currently I have the one one my personal PC and this is the second Windows 7 this is the virtual box here in the UI path orchestrator we need to first configure the machine because you know that if you are going to work with the multiple machines then you have to configure that machine here if you are not aware of this how to do this then you can go through my previous video and you can also search this video from the playlist that is UiPath Orchestrator. You will be getting the multiple videos there. You will learn from there how to configure different machine into the orchestrator. So first I have configured this and then you need to configure the robots here. So I have already configured here first for my personal computer laptop and this is for the this virtual box machine this is Windows 7 and the next one you have to you know configure the environments you have to you know, map both robots and if you have the multiple robots then you have to map those robots to one environment as per your, requ your requirement uh, let me first create a queue here and this is for the RPA queue so this is the same one that I have already told you I have al already shown you in my previous video that is how to get items from the queue and how to process that but this is the same I'm just going to show you how to divide the works how to divide the queue items between multiple robots so I have created the, the queue that is named RPQ and now with the help of this bulk add queue item this is nothing but just I'm using this excel file challenge.xls and I'm using this bulk add queue items and I'm just adding the items to the queue So now we have the 10 records here. Let me see, show you here. Now we have 10 records. So earlier here in the robot, it was showing only robot one, robot one in all these items. And now it will show here the robot two as per the items executed by the robots. If this item executed by the robot two, then it will show here the robot two. If, and if this item executed by the robot one, then it will show here the robot one. And you have the multi multiple robots, then it will show robot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It means, let's suppose this one item is processed by the robot 1, then this will be assigned to the robot 2. As you know that the features of UiPath Q, so this is the same one, like I have already told you in my uh, UiPath Q tutorial video, that if you have the multiple robots, then first one is assigned will be assigned to the first robot and the second will be assigned to the second robots and this will be third robots and let's suppose the second one has come you know completed their steps then this fourth will be assigned to the second robots and if first has been completed their steps then fifth will be assigned to the first robot so by this way one by one Q will or orchestra will send that items to the available robots so by this way now we have the 10 records and I have already you know use the same workflow that we have used for the uh, business exception 
this is the same thing I am just uh, opening the browser here clicking on the on the start and then this is used to get the items from the queue and here if trans item is nothing then it will log a message and then close the tab of the RPA challenge and if it has the item then it will store the data into the variable and then here we are checking the business exception that is if a status equal to not ready then it will uh, write as a failed and if in the false again we are checking for the numeric phone number and then we are going to the, go to the try, try catch section in the try we are putting the you know all the details here in the RPA challenge and then this will be successful at the end and if there is an error then it will show here as a fail with business application right and after that again it will go to the get transaction here and it will get the every time it will at the end it will get the items item from the transaction and, and it will process so before run this process I'm going to tell you first here from the start you have to click on a start and go to the tools and if you are like if you're going to use this Chrome browser then you have to click on the Chrome extension and if you're going to work with the Firefox Edge anything then you can you have to install this extension to your UiPath studio and the next one this is for the browser and the next one you are going to distribute your work divide your work split your work with multiple robots then you have to install this Citrix extension then you will able to assign the work to the multiple robots multiple machines so this is for the runtime plugin this is runtime plugin for automating Citrix application so these two things we have to install make sure you are uh, you have installed the Chrome extension and the second Citrix extension so I have already installed this so I'm not going to install here let's suppose you forget that or you uh, before installing this if you are going to automate this if you're going to run this project then you might be getting an error so you can go there and you can install that extensions now as of now you know that if you will be running this project from this system from the UiPath studio then this process will be executed on only this machine will be executed by the robot one this means this is the robot one so if you want to executed by the multiple robots then you have to publish this project to the orchestrator so once you will publish this project to orchestrator then orchestrator is the main command from there you can send the command to the multiple machines multiple robots and they can start executing the process so you have to click on the publish and once you will publish this you can go to the process here and you will be getting the process uh, your published process here and then from the jobs page you have to just you know click on a start uh, select the process and execute that but I'm going to show you one more thing that here if you want to work with the multiple machines then this is my uh, machine that is virtual box Windows 7 so if you are the community edition user then you have to install the UI path studio and UI path robot here both things then you you will be able to work with the multiple machines otherwise you will not not able to process these items and if you are enterprise user then you you will just have to install the ui path robot not a studio and one more important thing i'm going to share you please listen carefully that if you are going to automate any web application then that's okay because this is available on the internet and if you are going to automate any windows application then make sure that all robots should have the access of that path that location otherwise you will be getting an error because at the time of opening the windows application the another system robot will be getting an error it will be th uh, throwing an error let's suppose here I am using this Windows 7 virtual box so I don't have any that type of shared folder so that every system has the same access so if I'm going to automate the Windows application then we'll be getting error because I am just using the shared one shared folder and let's suppose if I am putting the application here so the path will be this VVO XSBR 
and if I am here let's suppose I am here in the my system personal system this is a shared folder then the path will be you can see here this is the C drive user M minus Pande something like that so what will happen here the drive the location will be different and when from this system when robot will start the application then it will look for that location but will, here it will not able to find so that's why it will throw an error so make sure if you are using one drive like D drive, R drive, and a shared drive, H drive, D drive, anything so both systems should have the same location then you will able to open that windows application so currently we are just using web application that is on the internet that is RPA challenge so now we can go to the jobs and click on start jobs select the process automation challenge select the all these robots which is available here so make sure if you are going to automate this then both ro robots should be available here otherwise you, you will not able to execute so this is showing a status available now click on a start then and also make sure you have connected the UI path robots here now it's showing connected so currently here this has been started but now I'm going to show you here in the my different machine uh, because of this is my virtual box so this is a little bit slow so it will take you know few time to open the UI path robot and open the Chrome application so currently this has been opened and due to the slowness this robot will able to only take few items you will able to execute only few items not all right now you can see here this is my uh, Windows 7 it is also taking the same items uh, different items and now here it is taking different items right so this has been processed completed robots has been closed here you can see here robots has been stopped and now the automation this this is showing successful now we can go to the queues and see here the click on view transaction and now you can see here all the items has been processed and it's showing successful and now click on this export and download the excel file open this so you can see here there are five six seven eight so eight items processed by the robot one and only two items processed by robot two because of the slowness but if you have the the AWS Citrix then it will work same as your personal computer it will not take too much time to open the UiPath robot and any web applications by this way you can divide the work between the robots so now by this way you can split your work if you are the enterprise user then you have to take the license for the multiple robots now thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet and please like this video and if you have any question then please comment on video your comments your feedback are very important so please share your feedback on videos